Hey, there it's me Eden. If you are new to the channel then please subscribe to my channel and visit my Patreon page for early access. Link in the comment, thanks. Well he's not bad I suppose, Nikki observed eventually. But he definitely needs some practice. Definitely, agreed Anita. You look fabulous in a skirt Steve, but you need to move in one like you've been wearing it forever to win the contest. That's right, agreed Nikki. Well I can't see that happening, I snapped. The contest's only next week. I can't see me becoming an expert that quickly. It might not take that long, Anita responded. It's not that difficult after all. And you'll need to practice walking in your boots as well. Boots, you observed Anita, noticing as I had done that Nikki had not said shoes. Yes, didn't I say? No, said Anita. Have you got him a pair of boots to wear then? Well yes, Nikki continued, a little embarrassed. I've brought some shoes over as well, but I thought it might be quite fun to see what he looked like in boots. Oh yes. Anita said with considerable enthusiasm. A nice pair of kinky boots. You'll look good in those Steve. Well, they're not really kinky, Nikki responded, almost with an apologetic note to her voice. Hang on, I'll get them and show you. She went out into the hallway, where I assumed she had dumped the shoes when she had come in with Maxine. Not long afterwards she came back in carrying a pair of black zip-up, knee-length boots. I recognized them as a pair she wore to school sometimes. Nikki may not have been as attractive as Anita, at least to me, but I had to admit she had good and expensive tastes in clothes. Oh, I like those. Anita exclaimed enthusiastically. I've always wanted a pair myself. Still, they should look good on Steve. Yes, I hope so, said Nikki. She looked at me. Well, here you are then. Try these on. They're a size six, that's what you said you were isn't it? I nodded in response and cursed the heavens for not making my feet any bigger. Nikki strode purposefully over to me and handed me the boots. They were heavier than I imagined, even though they were made of PVC rather than leather. I looked at the heel. It was about two inches high. I'll never be able to walk in these. I exclaimed. They've got high heels. They're not that high, responded Nikki, defensively. Anyway, that's the point of having the practice, isn't it? So you can get good at wearing them. There wasn't much I could say in response to that. I stared at the boots some more and put them down on the ground in front of me, ready to step into them. You might be better off sitting down to put them on, Anita suggested. Go and sit in your makeup chair, that would be better. I stared at her for a moment. My makeup chair, what a odd description. I shrugged, picked up the boots, and walked off to where the dinning table was. I sat myself down on one of the chairs, indeed the chair where I had had my makeup done, and put the boots down in front of me. Steve, exclaimed Anita, you can't sit like that. Not in a skirt anyway. Oh God no, said Nikki in agreement. Then she giggled, we can see your knickers and everything. I looked down at my legs, wondering what they were talking about, and then suddenly realized. I hunched over and pulled my knees in together. It's not my fault. I stammered. It's this skirt, it's too short. They looked at me strangely for a moment, then Anita said, Oh God, we forgot to measure it, didn't we? Yes, we got carried away in the excitement, agreed Nikki. Well, it doesn't matter, went on Anita, it's probably better if we measure it with his boots on anyway. Yeah. And anyway Steve, it's not that short. We just need to teach you how to sit down properly in a skirt. That's right, affirmed Nikki. Practice makes perfect. Don't worry about it just now, went on Anita, just get your boots on, and we'll get on to deportment lessons later. 
Still in my huddled position, determined not to show my knickers off to them again, I struggled to put the first of my legs into one of the boots. Given my newfound modesty, this proved a little difficult, but eventually I managed it. I cursed silently to myself as my foot slipped in, and, as Nikki had promised, it was more or less a perfect fit. That's the idea, Anita said encouragingly. Now do the zip up. I leant to the side to try and get to the zip without revealing any underwear. A titter from Nikki told me I had failed. This is good, she commented. I've spent a lifetime with boys trying to look up my skirt. Now the tables have turned. She and Anita laughed at this, while I struggled to get the zip up. Eventually it budged. Mind you don't get it caught in your tights, Anita warned me. You don't want to ladder them. I got the zip all the way to the top, and felt the PVC of the boot encase the bottom half of my leg. It felt very odd. Now the other one, encouraged Anita. Shuffling in my seat to adjust my position, I caught hold of the other boot and put my leg into it. Without realizing it, my legs had drifted apart a little. Knicker Steve warned Anita giggling. Cringing with embarrassment, I brought my knees closer together and pulled at the other zip. It took some effort to move, but eventually I managed it, and then both my legs were done. Oh they look nice, observed Anita. Stand up Steve so we can see properly. Slowly, unsure of how the heels would make me react, I stood. Oh you sexy little minx, declared Anita, laughing. You really look the part now, doesn't he Nikki? Very nice, agreed Nikki. Very nice indeed. Hang on though, said Anita, suddenly, and rushed to the back of me. She began brushing at my skirt. She giggled, and then said, standing up can be almost as big a problem as sitting down in a short skirt Steve. He's very keen on showing his knickers, observed Nikki, we'll have to try and drum that out of him. Well he's probably very proud of them, laughed Anita. No I'm not, I said, rather forlornly. I felt a little unsteady on my feet, balanced on the heels of the boots, and oddly tipped forward. I stood stock still, while the girls wandered around me, looking at me from all angles. Well you certainly look the part, said Nikki eventually. There's no way anyone is going to think you're a boy. No, agreed Anita. I just hope we haven't made such a good job that he'll get disqualified or something. Yes, agreed Nikki. He looks so good that they might just think he's a real girl entering for a laugh. Still realism must count for something, Anita went on. Do you know I think he'd stand a good chance in a real beauty contest? You know, one with real girls in. They both giggled again at this. Poor Steve, said Nikki. One of the prettiest girls we know, and you've got the misfortune to be a boy. Again, they collapsed into heaps of laughter at this. We'd best not forget to measure the skirt though, said Anita, suddenly remembering. If it's too short, we'll have to go in for a rethink. Yes, agreed Nikki. Now where did I put that tape measure? Oh there it is. She went over to the coffee table to pick it up. Right let's see how short it really is. Nikki bent down in front of me with the tape measure in her hands. I shut my eyes and stood up as tall as I could in the boots. I figured that maybe that way the skirt would be even shorter. Nikki placed one end on the center of my knee and began measuring the distance to the hem of my skirt. I silently prayed that she would utter the number 9 or even 10. I was unnerved by the constant references to me showing my knickers and figured that if I could have a skirt that was even just a little bit longer, it would be less of a problem. No one would need to know that I had been cajoled into wearing girls' knickers. Please God, I said in my head. Nine inches, please. Seven and three quarters, declared Nikki with obvious delight. That's perfect. Brilliant, agreed Anita. 
That means we've got him in the shortest possible legal skirt. Fantastic. I cursed God silently and opened my eyes again. There was to be no respite to my shame. Now, what do we need to do next? asked Anita. Oh God, not more. I exclaimed. Yes, declared Nikki. We've got your whole formal for the final to sort out yet. Yeah, agreed Anita, and we need to accessorize you a bit too, even for this round. Accessorize? I asked. Yes, she responded. Just a bit of jewelry really, but it could make a difference. Yes, agreed Nikki. And we really ought to sort out what we're going to do about getting your deportment right. We can't have you losing marks on that for no good reason. I agree, said Anita. Anyway, shall we sort out his jewelry first? Okay, said Nikki. I'll go and get the stuff I dug out for him. I was standing in the middle of Anita's living room, dressed in a short black skirt and light blue sweater. My face was heavily made up, and I had on a long dark wig, tied back behind my ears in bunches. Nikki was just sorting out some jewelry for me to wear. I could hardly believe that it was happening to me. On top of all that I had somehow been persuaded to wear what seemed like a thousand bits of girls' underwear to improve my appearance and make me feel more like a girl. As I reflected on all this, I shuddered. Please subscribe for the next part. And visit my Patreon page for early access.